It's smooth and dark. You know, really hot quality, cocoa infused. Frothy goodness. <laughs> Russian Imperial Stout. A phenomena that is just beyond belief. To me, the stuff that craft beer dreams are made of. It brings out kind of the best of, of what Foothills does. Well, sexual chocolate, I mean, the, you know, it being a higher gravity beer and everything, uh, you know, more grain to deal with, uh, longer fermentation times, longer diacetyl rest times. Um, you know, a beer that big takes its toll on the yeast. Then, you know, you throw in a uh, aging process on cocoa nibs. It's a beer you can't rush. You gotta give it its time. The cocoa nibs add a kind of fruity bitterness to the flavor, not a sweet, chocolatey character. The origin of the bean matters a pretty good bit. The, the, the flavor, just like a coffee might, you know, a Tanzanian is gonna taste a lot different than a Peruvian. And, you know, cocoa was much like that too. We can mostly measure the time we make our beers in days or weeks. We measure the time we make in sexual chocolate in months. You know, there's a lot of care and a lot of ingredients that go into that beer. It's, it's just a really complex beer to make, and it takes a lot of time to make. Our weekend is crazy. It really starts out on Friday night. My first time, I walked around with my jaw on the ground most of the time. The people get so excited about it. People from out of town can kind of come, uh, let off some steam, and kind of share uh, their local brews with each other. Well, the first release, when the line started forming outside the front door, I was shocked. To see people standing in line in the, in the freezing cold and the snow and just waiting to buy a couple bottles of beer, it's, it's amazing. Uh, we've got people that come in from all over the place. You see tents set up, sleeping bags, and it's just really a, a kind of a cool event. We like having a special day for it. We like having our special community that comes together to celebrate its release. Uh, Saturday, January 31st, 2015 will be the release of Sexual Chocolate. Uh, and we're going to do a lot of parties in, in the region and uh, use Sexual Chocolate as sort of a central part of uh, celebrating everything we've accomplished in the last 10 years.